After five years of bitter political rivalry between SLPP and APC party in Sierra Leone, the two face off once again in upcoming elections. What is at stake? There are about 3.3 million registered voters in Sierra Leone. On June 24th, they will decide whether to keep the current government headed by Julius Madabio or opt for a change in leadership. 13 candidates are vying for the post of president. But it is the incumbent Julius Madabio and opposition leader Samura Kamara that are leading the race. Madabio seems to be an embodiment of, well, I want to provide food for the people of Sierra Leone. Whereas for Dr. Samura Machi Wilson Kamara, he has been parroting the notion of national cohesion and unity. The two men have faced off before, seeking a similar position in 2018. Madabio won after a runoff. This time, each candidate hopes to win in the first round. What has happened, Yom Keller, which is the, the third party that, that came third in the last election, has sided with the, the SLPP. Um, the, the, the fourth party, elements of the fourth party have sided with the SLPP. Some have left for another party. So in reality, the supporters of these minority parties are fizzled out into the major parties, so we now have a two-horse race. Sierra Leone People's Party and all People's Congress parties have long dominated politics in Sierra Leone, with the two representing opposing sides of the country's ethnic fault lines. There is what we call ethno-regional sensitivity. Dr. Samura Kamara is coming from the north, whereas Brigadier Madabio is coming from the south. These are stark realities and they've got attendant consequences politically because here in Sierra Leone, several researchers are still finding out along what lines people are voting. It is perceived that many people are voting along the lines of tribe, region, and those biases. I think the most important issue for Sierra Leoneans in this election is getting along each other, what we call welcoming attitudes. The last Afrobarometer data we collected showed that welcoming attitude between Sierra Leoneans actually fell um, by a st very steep margin, so about 20 percentage points. National cohesion is a key concern for Sierra Leone, which still bears the trauma of a 10-year civil war more than two decades ago. There have been efforts to bring the country together by promoting inclusivity and representation. Government recently passed a gender equality and women empowerment law that reserves 30% of jobs for women. Under a year to elections, this government decided to go with a PR system. And not only that, they instituted the law that for every two candidates, one should be a woman. So political parties had to scramble to simply place any woman in these lists. Some were prepared, but the bulk of them, especially in the younger political parties, were ill-prepared. So what I'm saying is, in their rush to institute a new electoral system this close to the elections, you have sacrificed competence. There has been no time to train the women. There has been no support for the women. Several other themes are dominating this election. Key on the minds of voters is the economy, which has declined in the past few years. Now with the businessman, the dollar, they affect me. That's that we pray so that the, 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 the present way they come, the most safe for attack in this country are the dollar. That's that. The dollar and the fear and the economy side. That's that. This is really the monarchy, you know, the, yes. Economic hardships were a key driver of protests in August 2022 that took place in several towns in the country where at least 21 people died. Keeping prices down is the biggest issue. And interestingly, the, both the president and the opposition leader, they have, been, they have had their finger on the economy for the past 30 years. So none of them is a stranger to the economy. So I think it's, it's really about facing the honest truth about what is, you know, the challenge with the economy. 
So that's why it, it will be useful for Sierra Leoneans to build productivity. We want to see what is in the programs of SLPP and the APC about building a productive base, about making sure that the workforce become productive. How do we introduce ethical standards for productivity? Youth unemployment is also a hot issue. According to UNDP, more than 800,000 Sierra Leonean youth are hunting decent work. Some would rather migrate to other countries. A Gallup poll study published earlier this year showed that 84% of Sierra Leoneans want to leave their country. You have to improve health conditions for them because you need a healthy workforce. Um, and then, of course, it's to me what I call moral rehabilitation. I think young people really need to be taught how to believe in themselves. You see a lot of young people hanging around the streets, just begging. They do not have the belief that they need to go out there, apply for jobs, and um, go prepare themselves for interviews or train themselves in ways that they can be useful for Sierra Leone and outside of the borders. So I think for many young people, it's actually telling them what the hard truth is instead of, you know, making sugar-coated promises at elections to make quick wins or short-term gains when, you know, we have a deeper malaise, youth malaise, that has been a problem since 20 years of, 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 the, of, of the, the war ended. Other concerns include improved road infrastructure, provision of water and better healthcare services. Alongside the presidential poll, Sierra Leone will also hold parliamentary and local council elections. This election that Sierra Leone is having, I can tell you quite unreservedly, it's almost like a life and death election. I think Sierra Leoneans are basically voting for their future. Despite the fact that it's a country that has gone through war, civil war, for 10 years, it has grappled with Ebola and coronavirus. So the word resilience is one watchword for Sierra Leoneans. But of course, whether they will be voting along issues or tribe is a matter of let's wait and see. To be declared a winner, presidential candidates must garner 55% of the total votes. Failure to do so, the election will go to a runoff. For Sierra Leoneans though, once the votes are cast, they hope to get a president who can bring the people together.